Good afternoon. The SNP's Westminster leader has accused the Prime Minister of putting Britain into a catastrophic negotiating position over Brexit. The accusation was made at Prime Minister's questions by Ian Blackford. He was speaking ahead of next week's crucial vote in the House of Commons on the UK's Brexit bill. Supermarkets running out of food within days. Hospitals running out of medicines within a fortnight. Petrol reserves dwindling after just two weeks. These are the concerns of UK government officials. And now the Dutch government are telling Dutch businesses not to risk buying UK products. Does the Prime Minister understand the catastrophic negotiating position she has cornered herself into? Prime Minister. What we have uh, already set out is our ambition for that trade deal with the European Union in the future. But he refers to the wishes and desires of the Scottish. Of, he talks about supermarkets in Scotland uh, and supermarkets across the rest of the UK. Of course, he might pay attention to the supermarket chains in Scotland, who said that the most import, one of the most important things for Scotland is to remain part of the United Kingdom. A man has died after his motorbike collided with a car in Murray. The 37-year-old died of his injuries following the crash on the B9015 Garmouth to Mastodloch Road around 5.30pm yesterday. The driver of the car was uninjured. Police are appealing for anyone who was travelling on the road or stopped at the scene to come forward. A man has been jailed for six years for killing a grandmother in a head-on collision on the A90 near Ellen. Alan Jar was working as a driver for a car hire firm at the time of the crash in March 2016. 57-year-old Jamesina Stewart died at the scene. Jar was banned from driving for eight years. The Health and Safety Executive has warned the industry it will take action over oil and gas escapes in the North Sea. On the second day of a conference marking the 30th anniversary of the Piper Alpha tragedy, the regulator says more must be done by operators. Companies have until next month to respond with a summary of planned improvements. Now here's Sean with the weather forecast. Tui sponsors STV Weather. Hello there, plenty of cracking sunshine around during this afternoon. There will be some patches of cloud across the north and else, perhaps coming into the very far northeast at times and also across the Hebrides. But for many of us, a sunny, warm day, warmest weather again in western parts like the last couple of weeks into the low 20s. Possibility of one or two isolated showers cropping up across the highlands, perhaps into Perthshire and also the Stirlingshire area as well. Those showers ease away then. Tonight's dry, it's clear for most of us. A bit more cloud coming back into the northeast and temperatures low enough for a wee touch of grass. Asphalt 5 degrees in the Old Glen, plenty of sunshine around tomorrow, especially again in the West. Tui sponsors STV Weather. That's all for now. Remember to join Norman for the STV News at 6. Until then, from everyone on the lunchtime team here, have a very good afternoon. Goodbye.